Ring game taking over, that's a promise, not a threat. Uppercut, season, north top, you stop breathing. For that. Um, so yeah, we have one more topic and we'll let P lead in the poll topic. And that will be our final topic of the night. P? Poll dagger! Uh -oh. Hey nigga, get my top cheese, nigga. <laughs> hey nigga. Yo, right. yo, nigga. See, y'all thought it was just me. Y'all thought it was just me. <laughs> Give me a cue. Hey I'm nigga, where the, where the honey flaming Cheetos, nigga? <laughs> Where's the? Hey, this, nigga, this nigga needs a quarter water. Yo, What's the the Give me a cue to the poll. Hey, hold on. Pause. Give me a cue to the poll. I'm trying to search it. I got it. I got it. I got it. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. My bad. My bad. Sorry. I got. Wait, I caught up. That nigga was just some pussy. Nah, nah, nah. He was in the back looking for the the Chipotle Gouda cheese, nigga. Chill, 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 chill. I got the poll. Yep. I got the poll on hand. Pause, <laughs> nigga. Oh. That was the most pause worthy shit of this oh. night. <laughs> All right. So, um, you know, we, we got to ask. The people got to the people got to know this. Like, we, we got to talk about it. So, when, when you reach a certain level of popularity in the sport, do belts actually matter? Yes or no? Uh, 40 <laughs> votes so far. Go vote. Go vote. Uh, fifty-three percent said yes. They still do actually matter, and forty-eight percent said no. So, yeah, pretty tight. Uh, pretty tight poll. No, poll. they don't. They don't matter because a lot of niggas be holding their belts and don't be fighting the niggas that can be actually taking the belts and spreading the love. I so mean, they don't, they don't really matter. I mean, I picked yes. I say they. They do matter. You know, it's like, I mean, our first number one, it's the level, I mean, it does, you know, it is the one indicator of, like, achievement of what you've actually done in the fucking sport. <laughs> so it's like, you know, it's one thing, like, I mean, making money or not, no one ever take the, the title of champion from you. So it's like, yeah, so what did you, did you actually rule your division? Did you, are you actually, were you actually, the, were you actually that guy in your, in your, in boxing or at least in your division? So... You know, and belts is pretty much the way that it's indicated. <laughs> you know, for better or for worse. You know, but uh, yeah, because like being popular, and, I, and I'm gonna shout out Cat because Cat gave a, a really good explanation uh, on that one. She said, "Being a world champion is the dream. Being the face of boxing or popular fight just means you can pick and choose your opponents and not prioritize mandatories." You know, which is accurate, very accurate. <laughs> And I agree with that. I mean, like, it's hard to say that they don't like that they don't matter at all. If you want to say they matter less, that's fine. But, like, even if it matters less, it still matters somewhat. Like, right. Like, let's put, like, put it this way. Like, 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 the reason why I get on Ryan Garcia so much is just the fact that, you know, this motherfucker was Devin Haney's Mando for a good minute. And was talking about, well, I'm bigger than a belt. I don't need a belt. Blah, 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 blah. Because the person holding it would most likely beat his ass. Yeah. <laughs> you know, so, yeah. So all, 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 although, to be fair, uh, his fight with Tank is probably what, what people, why people would say that belts don't matter. Because there's like, yeah. there's no belt on the line and nobody cares. Like, and he, and he has cares. said a few times, belts don't matter. Um, obviously, this fight between Tank and Ryan is bigger than Crawford Spence undisputed, no matter what. I don't, honestly, as a commercially, I mean, you know, it's true. I mean, Tank Ryan has a grip on the youth in different ways, you know what I mean? Ryan got TikTok, Tank's like a rapper, you know what I mean? So it's like in YouTube and all that shit. So, yeah, belts matter. I mean, belts matter, but I mean, it's not. But it, 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 so, oh, y'all voted yes, dude. Oh, I, you know I voted yes, nigga. Like, I, I, I say, oh, uh, Pilot, what you vote? Let me double check. Let me try to find that poll. You got to double check, nigga. You just what you think, nigga. It's God, dog, nigga, really? Check what you yo, Pilot said, like, yo, Pilot, like, <laughs> this nigga Pilot, man, like, <laughs> comedy, son. 
was checking though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like you can't just answer the question. <laughs> Yeah. No, he don't remember when he voted. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh my God, today? <laughs> no, I did. I did. Obviously, by inclination, his belts do matter, but I don't know. Hear me out. 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 Real quick. Wilder, right. Wilder, AJ. We miss Wilder, AJ at his apex, right? We, we missed that fight. Both undefeated. Both, you know, knocking niggas out. Both champions. We still want. To- we still want the fight, but it's not going to hit the same, man. That shit ain't going to hit the same without without yeah, all the stuff. Yeah, because it's clear that they're not the they're not the number one or two heavyweights in the in the division. That's the problem, yeah. and because the, neither of them are champions, and they lost a lot, and then their losses kind of took the same out of that fight. I still want to see it though. So to the yeah, American public, see it. to the American public, I mean, that don't watch boxing, Usyk and Fury are basically some Tisco motherfuckers. They don't know, you know, these guys. You know what I'm saying? They just think, oh, you know, in America, yeah, in America. Usyk. But the yeah, problem is true. they like they know that at least Fury is the champion because Fury is coming off knocking Wilder around like for three yeah, fights. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. So that's the so that's the thing. So like so everyone knows Wilder and AJ does not for the best heavyweights in the world. They're just the known heavyweights because they're like, damn, we were we were waiting for this fight since like 2017, 2018. The casuals that eat it up and act like this they're the champions though. Right, exactly. I can see how the, yeah, people will just already like People would even forget Wilder. <laughs> like people would be like, like Fury Usyk, fight these I niggas. I don't blame either side. I don't blame either side. Whoever ducked, whatever, it's just bullshit. I blame. I, I do blame both sides. But what I'm saying is, it's like, you know, some people think AJ duck would think Wilder duck. It's like y'all had all the belts in the line. No, but hold on. There's receipts that Wilder duck though. Like that's been like found out. Like Wilder himself admitted that. Like we we got to start like retelling like. The stories with the truth, though. Huh. Wilder. What do you mean, huh? Like, explain, huh? Like, real talk. Wilder like, absolutely told on himself. Like, he, he literally. Yeah, that's like a, a yeah, fact I remember now. That. I remember that. I remember that. Yeah, so don't say it like it's a. <laughs> and then this nigga said, huh? <laughs> like, yeah, like being that word, like. <laughs> I hate to admit it, but. He's the trackers of this shit. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Water definitely picked Fury because he thought he was a cherry, huh? Yeah, we, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Just think of why you keep saying, huh? Like, we got to convince you. <laughs> like, like the events just didn't play out that way. Like, mm-hmm. <laughs> but, but, but in, a, in a nutshell, Bills matter, of course. You know, I grew up loving sports, championships, you know, all that shit. But I don't know. The belts have all the fuckery with the belts and all that shit. You know, it's like, Bills matter, but. Tank Ryan is the biggest fight you can make in boxing, again. there's not a belt on the line. Right, but then also too with this thing, like I mean, with I mean, and this is where I always, cause I always talk about Tank and Ryan. Like this fight, if this fight, if this fight was happening without them facing their Jabra festivals, then I'd be like, okay, this was good. Like they, you know, they went to this fight earlier, but both of them had jo- were facing Jabra opponents, like you know, or in the, or Ryan's case, he fought one and then had a long layoff. Tank fought a whole string of them. So and, and neither of them were fought fought what we call the best in their divisions, you know. Outside, yeah. I mean, I wouldn't call Hector Garcia a jobber, but that's just me. Like, but, but yeah, I, I would call him a jobber, stop. but I wouldn't uh, also call. Hey, me and Pat were right. Me and Pat were right. Me and Pat were right on that. We knew we knew it was going to happen. But I'm just saying, mm-hmm. Tinker hasn't fought a live. Uh, I mean, uh, Ryan hasn't fought a live body since Luke Campbell, and he was he wasn't fully alive. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. Live enough for you. There was niggas on this very podcast that picked against him hard. Now Ryan has done a better job with Lucen. He's he's been getting good with Goosen. I'm just he's been looking better. Lucen, I love Lucen Bute. His coach. Lucen with Goosen. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, <laughs> and even even with belts, no belts online, it's like you know whoever wins, like what are, what are they gonna do? Like, are they gonna go after Haney? Are they gonna go after Taylor? Like, that's because they, they can't just go off the internet. They gotta go after a head nigga in one of these divisions, like somebody with a belt. So that like, it's that's why it's like you know it's like the belts don't matter, but eventually after this, someone wants you to become a champion somewhere. Like you gotta go that the the, the, head the nigga, new fans don't care, son. Like I think there's a disconnect that like, y'all not getting, man. Like people, like I don't think people realize how much Floyd and Pacquiao happening hurt the sport, yo. Well, I, I know this happened, but it also too, like you, I, you, you, but a lot of niggas could because there's nobody objective. Whenever so, you see it on Twitter. Whenever someone objectively says something about that fight, I ain't gonna lie, niggas start wiping their mouth. 
<laughs> take your shit out their teeth and, and you know they start you know riding dick no but you know all those kids under the youtube ryan you know under ryan's instagram and you know tanks comments and shit they, they, they don't know who has a title they think tanks champion probably you know what i'm saying they don't know all the people that are actually going to be all i care is about the fight see that's the thing what happened like it took so long look it takes boxing too long to create good champions that are marketable or stars because you wait you put all these expectations, you put all these obstacles, you put all these shits in front of them. You're like, okay, you want these niggas to beat somebody in their own, in somebody's own ter- own backyard. You want them to damn unify. You want them to be undisputed. You want them to be a big name. You want them to be a pay per view draw. Fans are, are are tired of waiting the five or six years that it takes to happen. And yes, it takes five or six years because the way the sport moves, and, and not because of the sport's fault, it's the boxers. Every fight has to take fucking the niggas is fighting once and twice a year mm. against opponents that we not looking for and all that shit. So people are getting tired of all that having to happen until we get a big fucking real 50-50 live champion, champion, pound for pound guy, pound for pound guy, future Hall of Famer, future Hall of Famer guys to fight. And it's a big super fight where everybody and their mom wants to see it. That above day is fun now. Uh, above 135, because we get in the small divisions, we do get those big yeah, it, I'm talking about in general, that shit is done. Like, it's happening quicker at the smaller divisions because, like we said on here before, at those divisions, you can't play it safe. You can't pussyfoot around. You'll be 10 and 0 fighting a motherfucker who's a seasoned veteran who's, who's, not, who's trying to put his foot in your ass. Right. Because he knew if he win. He's a payday or he's a, another fight away, away from a fucking payday or, or a title shot. Mm-hmm. But the sport, dude, so niggas is seeing, okay, this motherfucker, Boxer A got momentum, Boxer B got momentum. Okay, these niggas is winning game stop belts. Oh, he got a legit title. Oh, he lost it. Okay, he's not, he don't care about the title, this, that. I still care about all this nigga fights. This other nigga, he had a title shot. He don't want it. That, that, that. I still care about this nigga fights because. He's so talented, quick hands, whatever the most. You just keep seeing these niggas just keep progressing through their career until boom. It's not even five years, three years, and you have a mega fight with these motherfuckers. And three yeah. years is faster than five years when it comes to the casuals and super fights. And that's what's happening. Motherfuckers don't want to wait for these motherfuckers to go through their growing pains. And you know these boxers that move in righteous. So who wants to complain and wait till they do? Niggas would just say, fuck it. We get in a big fight. That's it. Right. Facts. Sure. Just think about it. You're seeing it play out. Why you think Why you think the belt... Or, I don't know who it was. WBC, WB, whatever the fuck. Was, was trying to le- legitimize uh, Jake Fury and... and um, <laughs> Jake Paul and Tommy Fury. Fury. And someone mentioned how, how that broke... You know, that, that was the highest review sales... What kind of belt they have, they have in line? No belt. Furious have some see, random, random the organization see the money in it, and so they're trying to like, like let's legitimize these motherfuckers, dude. One of you motherfuckers could get popping so well and get you some bullshit fights that one of these belts might look at you and be like, oh no, this nigga pilot kind of, you know, he kind of holding it down in damn Seattle, Hawaii, you know, West Coast, Cali. Vegas, like he doing numbers over there. He he fourteen and zero with with twelve knockouts. <sighs> yeah, I mean that's how they look at this shit. And, and now be a be a motherfucker that's on every platform, getting into rapper hijinks and doing skits and knowing other YouTubers and all that shit. Boom. There's already a formula for all this shit, and the formula is playing out right in front of us. Nah, Ryan Garcia. Nah. <laughs> Uh, no, speaking of right, it really is because my little brother visited last summer and I was talking about boxing and he was like, oh, you know, he's a little casual. He's like, oh, Mike Tyson, M- Mayweather, Ali, you know, are the best of all time in his, you know, whatever. But then I was asking, well, what, what do you think right now? And he's like, oh, Ryan Garcia is the best boxer right now. Like, because the best know. is usually the, the most popular is usually the best in, in, in the casual's eyes. That's Ryan why. Garcia is not the most popular, is he? This nigga, how old is your brother, yo? He's like in high school. He's like 17, junior, senior in high school. Yeah, he's a young, he's a young high school kid. You know? Yeah, that's, yeah. 
Like, we were talking, we were sitting down dinner, talking, you know, all, uh, uh, Ali Tyson, you know, Mayweather, and I was like, who do you think is the best boxer right now, you know? And he's like, first name that came up, the only, he's like, Ryan Garcia, you know? Yeah. Honestly, that's a that's that's a really that's, that's a negative indictment on the sport if Ryan Garcia's name is pulled up. That's a the shock because it's like, why does he know Ryan Garcia of all the boxes? Like, what the fuck? Ryan Garcia is popular, bro. Yeah. We're not we're not the age of you know. The, I, I don't know why. I mean, because he's a Capri boy, you know, like looking like Manolo from Scarface or some shit. It, it's the platform. It's social media. They scroll and they see this nigga. Look, you got to remember when I was seventeen. If you ask me who's my favorite boxer or the best boxer, I'm gonna tell you Zab, Judah, like mm -hmm. that era, like Floyd Mayweather, like when you see him Zab on Rap City and BET these videos, you see him in dice games on TV and YouTube and getting in the bullshit and shit. Like, well, no, nigga, it's real player, not YouTube, bro. Yeah, like, real player. Yeah, I'm sorry, real. <laughs> MySpace, look at MySpace. And MySpace, I, I, you I, see this shit? I beam the shit. Oh goddamn. These boxers, dude, no one's stopping these niggas from being influencers on damn social media and, and 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 just having a having control of your career. No one's stopping that. The thing is, these motherfuckers, they can't do it within boxing. They say, okay, I want to be a rapper. I'm like, nigga, hold on, you still boxing? Yeah, yeah, but I'm popular enough to make rapping work. Uh, I want to be a piano player. I want to be... I want to do this. I want to do that. And it's like, nigga, be popular in boxing first, nigga. And Ryan Garcia, instead of doing a whole bunch of weird shit, he just does weird shit within boxing and social media. And all the young niggas yeah. look up to that and they fuck with it. Yeah. It's kind of crazy because Ryan, <laughs> Ryan Garcia hasn't sold a pay-per-view in his life. Tank, Tank had Madonna at his shit, you know, some pay-per-views. You know, Tank's marketed to me. I don't always say this. Tank, like, you think he's considered like a, a urban, like rapper type type gimmick? You know, like I'm saying, like I see him. In all no, he's outlets. exciting. All these outlets, you know, you know, like when he got when the shit got caught up with the Garcia fight, he was basically, you know, on all the say cheese and all those bullshit Twitter t posts. You know what I'm saying? Like he's basically a rapper. He's just a boxer. He's just, I don't know. Now you he's keep saying rapper. He's in the like. The thing is. He's a, he hits that rapper demographic. Like he'll hit the same blogs and social media platforms they do. They'll still post about him. And the thing is, is because he fight his fights and his outside the ring height shit that goes on goes into that damn that, that and that hits that demographic. And and back in the day, if you had to stand out to be rapping, you had to be DMX. Like you either had that bars. Crazy voice, flow, something. Or you, if you weren't the best at that, you had to get into a lot of street shit outside, and it's just damn. This nigga locked up again. This nigga, he had the burner at the airport. This, that, that. Tank is doing all of that, but then he's actually providing you knockouts, Knock which is what people want to see. <laughs> he's he's basically a, a B, a serious A B, unless he loses. You know what I'm saying? He's basically you know take that A B role because A B should have had you know. Remember, he was he was in the AB role. He was AB Junior at one point. No, he was. He's no, they're like you know, they're close. But I'm just saying, like he basically took over that. You know, he that overcame void, that. That void for Floyd. You're both under Floyd's. You know, wing. Yeah. You know, Tank, if Tank, I mean, I could see Tank getting Flash KO. I don't know. I mean, I don't. I doubt it. But I'm just saying, I could see it happen. Tell you the formulas out there, man. It's easy right now. Like, you especially know, if we got the resources. If Tank were to lose, I would. I wouldn't, I wouldn't trust boxing if <laughs> Tank lost. <laughs> yeah, but uh, but as I said before, because you know he said belts. You know, I mean, me, I'm too old school for that, so I I can't change my thinking. I understand it, but I have to rank things how I see how I see them, how I came up with. You know, so I I can't call. And so it's like, what part of me is thinking that you know Ryan and Tank could be bigger. You know, if I, oh hey maybe you know. Maybe if Ryan was able to beat Haney, and hey, you know, he's an undisputed champion. Hey, this is a big fight. Everyone knows now that these niggas are, are going for pound, some, uh, some pound for pound shit. Because currently right now, I mean, even if they win, I mean, Tank still Tank's resume still needs to go up a little bit. And Ryan has a, has a little ways to go. Resume before I it's taking look. too long, bro. Yeah. yeah. It's taking too long to get our mm -hmm. honest, natural, hardcore boxing approval. And that's the problem. Fans, fans used to lean on us to be like, "Hey, we do it, dude. Come on, think of Rome used to hit me up after work on some. Hey, so I heard what's his name on World Star. Yo, this the big fight this weekend. Like, 
Fans ain't waiting for that no more. The casuals, the casuals know the big fight now. They not asking boxing fans what's the big fight. Damn, you're right. That's a good point. That's what's happening because of the way the sport is going. Look, you got Crawford and Spence pound for pound, and look what's happening now. The two niggas that resume need to get better is making the big fight that we want to see. And it reminds me of a conversation. It was around the time of Tank and Barrios, or whatever. I think it was like after the fight, and I got into, and then you know there was someone I was going back and forth with. You know, he was a tank stand, of course. And then, you know, he had he had just heard of Josh Taylor. And this is when Josh Taylor still had all the belts and stuff like that. And, you know, and you know, I think he was like, oh, you know, Tank can, can beat Taylor, you know, or whatever. And for sure. I was like, I was like, well, Josh, so Tank should make the fight then if you could actually. <laughs> people say that. People don't know. People, yeah. Just, yeah, people believe it. But, was, you know, but you know, he was trying to give him the win. It's like, nah, he doesn't need to do that. I was like, it doesn't make any fucking sense. You said you could do it. He should. He should do it. And I remember getting to this most ridiculous back and forth on it because like this nigga was like, "Oh, tanks this tank that," I was like, "Like, nah, it, don't, it, don't, it doesn't work like that." He's got to actually go and fight him, beat him. Like, you don't want me to, have to give him that win. I'm not. That's just know. a consequence of it, yo. I'm I'm sorry you got to deal with those type of casual boxing conversations with that level of intellect and knowledge on the sport. I, I apologize, but it, it's it's like an aftershock from the earthquake of belts not mattering. <laughs> like, that, honestly, that's what we're going to have to be dealing with more often. Those stupid ass fucking conversations where you want to damn just like, shut the fuck up, nigga. You don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Mm-hmm. And you, you do, you play it in your head and you see yourself doing that, but you just be like, ha 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 ha. But hold on, let me um comments real quick. Um, uh, yeah, Henny God salute. Yeah, that once a year shit is trash. Barely, cu- too barely cut it. Yeah, thank you. Like, Ah, the, and the, that's boxing's fault. Y'all had Jake Paul come out of nowhere fighting every four months and shit, capitalizing on his momentum and popularity. But the pound for pound skill, niggas, y'all can't take the pay cut to fight the ESPN level guy on some bullshit like James Tony used to do. Nah, y'all too good for that. So, hey, Tommy Fury is ranked 49 in the cruiserweight division when he's been fighting at light heavyweight his whole career wbc gotta go yeah but they're not gonna go because that's where the money's at legitimizing niggas that are popular in popular fights Mm -hmm. to make belts matter in a roundabout way because belts don't matter (laughs) can't make this shit up i'm trying to check my vote hold on let me check my vote real quick hold on belts don't matter (laughs) <laughs> we getting big fights, no go. Whatever I vote, I don't care. Haney, he's pretty popular because you know he has a decent following. He's the Muslim boost is kind of nice too. But Tank has no like basically a fake belt. Haney has all the belts. Who's much more popular? Doesn't matter. Mm-hmm. Haney's nope. fights don't bring what Tank's fight bring. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And Triple G the belts matter. Triple G dropped both his belts in the past month. You know what I'm saying? Like. At 160 in the fucking glory division, you know what I'm saying? Belts might, I don't know. I wish belts don't matter as much as they used to. That's, the, that's, that's my answer. And, and Golovkin Beltless is still the best nigga at 160. <laughs> <laughs> belts don't matter. Fights matter. Uh, Tank on the shade rule. My girl, I know, my, my girl know him through, <laughs> through that, not boxing. Exactly. Tank on all the, he shared a whole urban rapper demographic. And then he's got the hardcore, then he got the casuals, like perfect marketing setup. All right, this is a good one. This is a good one, Beth. Um, boxers should play into their persona more, like we call Errol the Big Fish or King Ryan. Like they should go deeper into it. Make us feel like they're like you're a larger than life character or something. Henny guy with the ad lib on some wrestling shit. And I'm, 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 I'm my ad lib is gonna be like this Joe Joyce. <laughs> hey, no, <fast>. that, <laughs> that AB Mills worth the game last yesterday. Like his interview, like it, personality. All these guys are bland, man. Like you need some kind of personality. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. Vir, Virgil, Virgil, Persona helps. <laughs> I'm saying like Virgil, Ennis, all these young cats. Like Keyshawn can talk decent, you know. But a lot of these niggas is kind of like you know. There's no, you know. I don't know. It's different, man. I grew up watching fucking superstars box. I don't know. It's weird. <laughs> 
It's fucking you weird. sound like you're 45, like ready to give up. Like, yeah, I, mean, <laughs> I think it's like, nigga, you younger than us. <laughs> Come on, be honest. Bud and Spencer are pretty fucking boring and bland. You know what I'm saying? Come on now. Well, Spence is amusing. His tweets be amusing. Crawford, yeah, Spence, Crawford's Spence. fights are exciting, but that's where it stops. Like, Spence went off on, um, on Porter, but besides the Porter buildup, Spence ain't really. He just kind of, you know, the Southern draw. I don't know. It's like, yeah. It's just <laughs> Walter Waits. When I grew up, Walter Waits were the shit, and I was young and heard about, you know, Hearns and all that. You know, like basically what fucking Hearns and Ray Leonard was basically Boots and Ortiz age fighting their first fight. These niggas have, and Boots Ortiz hasn't got a belt yet. It's fucking crazy. The sport is slower, like, and then. You know, everyone you're in the damned if you do damn if you don't type shit. Like <clears throat> if you rush that nigga, motherfucker be like, Well, you know, look what Vargas what happened to Fernando Vargas. Oh, look at Lubin, look at Lubin. Look at Lubin. Like you see what they <laughs> so it's like that that's why you just have to win, but you have to make the most out of your persona, your brand, your character, all of that shit, because with boxing, it could be here today. Gone the fuck tomorrow along with your fucking brain, nigga. Right. So do the most in your career. Like like if you like that's why we like we said it we said it on the Johnny Rice interview last week, but and you know, cause he exemplifies this, but having character, being outgoing, being amusing, funny, entertaining, all that shit helps your career. Like I'm I'm beginning to say I I'll go as far as saying that shit just helps you in life. Facts. You don't even have to be a fucking boxer. Like, like no, just, no. it's not gonna hurt you to smile or, or be positive and you even know, do like even to do like Fury. Like, work. My friends who are MMA fans, you know, more than boxing, you know, they're like, oh, Fury's kind of cool, you know, because Fury was playing up a little nice, nice guy gimmick, but you know, with a little edge. You know what I'm saying? Like, having a personality really matters. I mean, even this day and age, I don't know. It it always matters. But but the thing is, what happened with this era, like, all the nerd or, or the weirdo motherfuckers that, that finally, you know, got a voice, they telling us, nah, it's cool to be weird and shit, and it's like, no one wants to offend them niggas no more, so it's like, everybody's kind of like, chilling out, and it's like, no, like, everybody can be what they want to be, like, and be proud of that shit, like, do you, nigga? <laughs> Yeah, Wilder's cool. Wilder has a great personality as well. Like, I, honestly, Wilder's an overachiever. Like, no, Wilder. I mean, I, I'm gonna say he's basically being the face of American boxing eight years or so. He's a Hall of Famer. I don't care what you want to say. He, he's gonna make the Hall of Fame. And he he'll, he'll make it. I, I gotta agree with it, but you know, it's true. I mean, I'm just. I mean, saying, there are plenty. There are plenty of fighters in the Hall of Fame now. I don't agree with, and I, I don't. Yeah. I personally don't think Wilder is a Hall of Fame. But I'm just saying, like you know, being, one of, the most, being one of the most not you know modern prominent. You can't tell me a Hall of Famer and Chris Bird don't and Chris Bird ain't in the Hall of Fame if Wilder. Yeah, like, wins. yeah he hit, Wilder's yeah, winning. And, and, and yeah, because like I said, because there are more, there are there are other heavyweight champions not even just the lineal ones there are other like alphabet other alphabet that have you know that have better wins than wilder does yeah that's what i'm saying like i can't like like yeah, wilder like, don't have a, a win like a, a joyce, jimmy thunder win is like will be a top win for wilder joyce got better wins ruiz he could if he if he's got ruiz but that's lost in the win now you know what i'm saying like yeah, a I mean, guys. Andy Ruiz took his work. That's the problem. Like, so it's like, yeah, you know. But I, I don't want to go too far to Wilder. Like, yeah. that, that could be a, like a whole other topic. Because you know, if I get, if I, I'll, I, you know, we go in, I'll get cooking on Wilder. I don't want to do that tonight. We know, we know. <laughs> you know, but see, yeah, but I, I see Beth. Uh, what, what's more confusing is that guys like Spence Crawford, etc., are more interesting outside of the ring. They're they're pretty funny. They're relatable. That's what I'm saying. It's like, if you have that base level of um, being relatable, you're interesting, pretty funny. Got what you need to do is take that to the next level yeah. and put yourself in situations or platforms where it could be promoted or boosted. Like it all goes back to like Brian Garcia showed you the uh, the. It's showing you the uh, the blueprint. Broner Ben showed you. Jake Paul is showing you. Like 
I mean, you know, a, a guy like Keyshawn, like I saw him on the zone a few years ago on commentary for like three, four fights, you know, early on. And he can talk pretty decent, you know, like him and like a Hitchens and maybe like even a Haney. I mean, Haney Shakur, like basically a sure thing, you know what I'm saying? Like certain guys are going to have their spot, you know what I mean? Porter has character, but it's something missing with him. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, entertaining style, nigga. <laughs> Porter, yeah. Porter's pretty good though. He's a good. He's a good commentator. Yeah. Before he's, before he started chilling, he's a good commentator. You know, but like I said, I mean, yeah, I mean, I mean, like, I mean, uh, to me, like people, people that can fight without the belts, where it doesn't matter. I mean, I always, I always think it's, it's always gonna be an edge case to it, and I mean, it's not gonna be like what, like I said, I mean, I don't think there's any true fight out there, like any real fight that doesn't have a, you know, like at least one of the legendary fights that don't have like belts on the line or there's something on there. Of, 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 in of, the new era, son, like this is literally gonna be the last era of great fights that's gonna have belts and be meaningful. Like this is the start of a new era where if we can what? get the crackhead in South Beach to fight the crackhead that's in front of the bodega at King P block, and if we can get those two crackheads popular enough and we <laughs> the world cares about it enough. <laughs> where like niggas is making diss records niggas is on maury or all these shows and just whatever the fuck they doing we'll have the crackhead championship of boxing nigga <laughs> everything is gonna not- be dude I'm, dude I'm gonna say this you see how they rap had got so big that they had to start individualizing rap and start compartmentalizing it and well that's not rap that's trap Oh, that's not gangster rap. That's drill. That's not this. That's wavy. This. That's oh, that's sing song. This nigga. That's this. That triple. Da, da, da. That's what they gonna do with boxing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, yes. Sorry. Any god bum fights three point oh. Nigga, I got that. D. I'm gonna look for that shit. I got, yeah. I, I'm gonna have to watch that again. But bum fights was yeah. It's fucked up. But yeah. Yeah, that's what it's gonna be. It's gonna be a, a glorified. I'm telling you, this is the start because. You, dude, look, there's some other nigga in some other random undisclosed location that's probably doing the same thing we doing, thinking the same shit, listening to this like, yo, these niggas is making sense. <laughs> like, all it is is a popularity to, contest. I was trying to think the last biggest fight without a belt, and I was thinking, 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 obviously, um, besides, you know, the Jake Paul fights, it would definitely be Mayweather and uh, McGregor, right? No, the biggest fight with no title at all on the line, from professional boxing. Yeah, but you got to get to the... But see, that's the thing. That doesn't count because Mayweather's held titles before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got to go to a fight where... Can y'all think of one? Can y'all think of one off top or not? Yeah, yeah, that's a good one. Uh, yeah, Pat, you, you, you the resident old nigga tonight. Um, <laughs> I mean, it's been... Uh, I'd have to really think about it. Like, I mean... This... <laughs> Come on. Wave your fist at the clouds, nigga, because you probably hated that fight, too. Like, all what, t- like, all what, big fights... Like the the Mayweather game. fight? Of course I did. Yeah, I, I'm talking about a fight. I, real, real quick. Guys got to be either a contender, fringe contender, undefeated, or popular, whatever. Maybe one loss, but it has to be a big fight that people was looking forward to. And you can have Doesn't have to be seen, but like an action fight, it don't matter. But it was hyped up and niggas wanted to see it. A big That's to be the first fight. Like Mickey Ward, Ward and. Uh, Gotti Ward two and three when it count. Okay, it's a bigger fight than that. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because people look forward to two and three. One is was just, ah, eh, do I want to see Costa Zoo and Ben Tacky have a boxing, or do I want to see a slugfest that's going to be a fight of the year? Yeah, I'm trying to think of a fight. Like, I can't <laughs> that might be I the one, think- nigga. Yeah, I can't think of a significant big fight without a title on the line, at least. Yeah. Like, you know, there's no about that, really, honestly. You know, yeah, no, I, I'd have to, I, honestly, I'd have to take, I'd have to really think, but this effect is, it, it, cause... Yeah, Tim Bradley versus who? What's that? No, nah, I see Eddie God slick with the Tim Bradley versus dot, dot, dot. <laughs> <laughs> WVO, whatever Bob orders, yeah, I guess whatever. <laughs> you know what, Gotti Ward might be the last fight that Low key had some, but some people looking forward to it, and it wasn't a title fight because you had a percentage of boxing was like Costa Zoo's fighting Ben Tacky, mm-hmm. 
and Gotti's fighting Ward. One fight is a significant fight against two guys in the top 10 champion, whatever. Other fight is just two French contenders that match up well. It should be an action fight that is more ESPN Friday Night Fights than HBO Boxing, but whatever. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What compares to that? I, I'm like I'm, I'm you know, I googled it. I'm not gonna lie. There's, there's nothing besides the 70s, you know. There's nothing besides the 70s, you know what I'm saying? Like you have to. So G- Gotti Ward is the last one, then. Mm-hmm. You, don't give me Chavez Duddy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to give Eliminator like some Eliminator that has a big fight, but it's not the same, you know. Like, oh, Pavlikov, um, Henny got, but uh, that was a casual. No, we didn't look. Like had to tell you, he didn't think that fight was gonna be Friday. I thought it was gonna be a good fight, but more people needed to look forward to that. But I get what you're saying. And, and it that did was, have a belt on the line. And, yeah. and it definitely did have a belt on the line. That, that was yeah, yeah, it did. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, that, that is was, true. That was, probably, that was probably fight a decade, arguably. Honestly, yeah, I mean, fuck, I can't. Hold on, yo, because Curtis Stevens and Golovkin had a belt. Like, nah. So I can't think of no fucking fight that was look. Dude, you tell me, dude. Um, Pat, you seriously? There has to be a fight, like. I like, mean, the, I mean, the only one I can think of too is probably maybe Canelo and Chavez Jr. That might actually be it. Nobody was looking forward to that motherfucker. What well, fight? Time? I don't what even fight? think Mexicans were looking forward to that. Canelo Chavez. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Chavez Jr. Nigga Jr. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, but that's what I'm saying. It's like you know, no, uh, this would be like it's it's a, it's a rarity to have a fight like Tank and Wright more uh, Tank yeah. and Ryan more. So than rare it only happens once every twenty years. Like, yeah. why are there Ruiz if Ruiz didn't leave PBC? That would have been like a pretty big fight. You know what I'm saying? We should we would have seen some crazy racial comments. I, but I it, agree, yeah. I agree with you. But fate had something else. So we got Tank and Ryan Garcia. But you're you on to something? I do agree. I think that would have been a a fight people to look forward to at heavyweight with no belts on the line. The last two American champs, yeah, but that's that's about it. It's not really, I mean, maybe yeah. Triple G's. And even then, Wilder's a former champion, so it's still not the same same. But I, mean, I we, get it; it's the closest thing. They're the last two, and Mexican, Mexican, and black. Come on, man! That, that, that would, yeah, that would, that would, that would be, it'll be yeah. With no title on the, it'll still be a good fight. Yeah, it would be good. Yeah, you're gonna see more of this, man. I know we kind of. Went off on this, but it was a good topic. Um, shout out to the King P for um suggesting the poll and um helping facilitate this conversation. But yeah, just be prepared. You're gonna see more of this shit. You're gonna see more. You know, the nigga who's working at Rite Aid gonna fight a motherfucker that's working at Eckerd gonna fight a nigga at Walgreens. Like <laughs> that's the shit you're gonna be seeing now. Like you gonna see. You know, Target gonna have a nigga. Their champion is gonna fucking fight goddamn Walmart champion. I mean, all, all I gotta say, just one more thing on this. All I know is if if Triller had actually kept you know kept on a straight and narrow, they probably could have probably cornered that market in terms of like we, we go we gonna see a, t- a tag Facts. team match. Well, tag team match: Walmart and Target versus Publix and Kroger. <laughs> Ooh, nah, nah. Let me do Walmart and Aldi's versus Trader Joe's. <sighs> and Whole Foods. I'll, I'll take Walgreens and CVS versus all of them. No, I, I was gonna. No, I was gonna say. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Trader Joe's and, and Trader Joe's and Whole Foods go together. They're 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 the mega powers. Like, what are you talking? <laughs> yeah, but look, but look, they're the same shit. Same shit. Now, fuck it. I, I want to do the. T- I want to do the tag team boxing. Nigga, fuck that. We we gonna go viral, and me and Ron gonna be the next tag team boxing champion. I'm, I'm putting it out there like nah fuck that if 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 the goddamn burger king fry cook versus mcdonald's burger flipper <laughs> i have a title fight and they can get blown up the epic proportions god damn it let niggas on a fucking podcast get a pay-per-view like fuck it like <laughs> I, I i know pat is gonna be on the podcast talking shit about us too but fuck it like hopefully you don't go go too hard on a pause <laughs> but i'm just saying like 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 Nigga, like, no one's got time to be a pro pro boxer, nigga. We just want to be a boxer and make money, nigga. And the pros are seeing that. Shout out to Ryan Garcia. <laughs> and, and Jay Paul, for the y'all niggas gave us the blueprint. Like, so yeah. 
So yeah, so we gonna we gonna be training for that heavyweight boxing tag team, whatever bullshit y'all niggas wanna right. do. It's like why train for your whole life when you can just train for six months, come up with a gimmick, and get paid a couple mil. <laughs> 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 thank you, thank you, thank nigga. That's it. Did you, that's the sound bite. That's the hot take. That's the that's the takeaway of this. That, clip that. Clip Pat, that. please, that's the clip. That's the fucking clip. <laughs> that's the clip. Like he's actually right. He's actually right. Why the fuck am I dedicate my life? And kill myself in training, love boxing like it's the finest bitch on earth. To end up with a career that might not be Emmanuel Augustus level. <laughs> <laughs> to a nigga that's out outside, you know, doing bucket challenges. <laughs> <laughs> nigga do the jump challenge the next day, well, and Eddie I'm Hearn is like, "Damn, you got pretty popular with that uh video. You jumping, roping." Yeah. Jumping rope for 30 seconds on TikTok. Yeah, like, how would you like to be on Misfit Boxing? <laughs> <laughs> when that 20, that's when that's really like, <laughs> when that's so, so, yeah, like, then you say, oh, what, you know what? I cry, you. let me get serious, mate. Let me, <laughs> let me, let me take this boxing series for like six months. Let me. <laughs> Let me look at some YouTube tutorials. Oh, Green Gang. Yeah, these niggas joke about it. Oh, this is PJ guy. He got videos. And Shutterworth or Ron, he got videos. But his other niggas got videos. This, okay. <laughs> yeah, let me study. Okay, hold on. I got clout. I got money. My YouTube checks are good enough. Let me hire real fucking professional boxers who've been doing this all their life to train me. Some shit the pros don't even do. <laughs> I'm telling you, like, dude, like, pros be grabbing their uncle and their cousin. They be like, "Yo, can you show me the moves from when we was kids, <laughs> nigga?" That's why you fucking lose and using 1960 yeah. fucking moves, man. YouTube is like, fuck it. You know, I remember that Shane Mosley guy knocking listen, a bunch of niggas listen, out. The YouTubers got the bread to get the advanced route, so. These niggas are going the advanced route. They're like, yo, why train my whole life for some shit when I can just call this nigga that's been training his whole life <laughs> and tell this nigga, yo, yo give me some, give you me just some said it. They're using their resources better than the actual boxers do. And the reason why I say this is because they're using their resources orally to get to a position that when the pro boxers start getting the money and it's time to up their promotion, they fall back and say, nigga, that's why I got a promoter. Nigga, I ain't doing no YouTube. Nigga, fuck you. Nigga, nigga where the hoes at? <laughs> That's what them niggas are doing when they should be using that. The money they got now after being a champion or, or being on ESPN, being a top 10 fighter, a uh, pound for pound, or just being a, a ranked contender. So, like, get over the ego. Like, like Rome said, like, the boxers, the, the fucking YouTubers, they're going to the source immediately. They're like, listen, I ran like, up a check like, at the like damn said. Gleason's, nigga. Like you said, the niggas got to buy into the ego. Like, when Wilder was first coming to the ring, nigga, he had a regular role. This nigga transformed. He bought into the shit. Niggas started coming to the ring and fl flowers and feathers and shit. Fury. <laughs> Fury, every time you see this nigga, he got on a mink something. Whether it be a mink <laughs> hat, a mink pair of shoes, a mink... With ring, his trainer! It's just, with his trainer, yo. Nigga be decked with out. His, but he, with he, his shirt off. He's living. He, shirt off and shit. After the he's fight living. And shit. He's living up to what people want to see. People know him as the talk shit, flashy nigga, so they want to see him on that flashy shit. They're like, yo, I want to see you in the most flamboyant, flashy shit. So he buy that shit, and niggas want to see it. So they gonna keep buying the tickets so they can see him do that shit. Exactly. Like, like use they, the resources. Like, yeah, he can box. Yeah, he won, but they don't really give a fuck about that shit. They wanna. They know that he beat the nigga and was talking shit to him and did it in a stylish way and was flashy with it. Yeah, but people do know Furious Champion. It's not like it's a, it's like, yeah. They know, yeah. see, it worked, but see, but it still completes the example because Fury is, is fucking doubling down on that. Listen, That's where the whole talking no, shit part he said comes in. And honestly, speaking of nobody, belt, I mean, nobody in America knew Fury before he fought Wild. For the most part, yeah, except us. Speaking, of, speaking of belts, speaking of belts, fear of uh, what's it 70 30 supposedly accepted or whatever. I mean, like, Fury has one belt, 
You know what I'm saying? Like he had the fake imaginary um, lineage belt or whatever that they stopped talking about when he fucking spliffed Wilder. <laughs> but I mean, if belts really matter, so you don't agree? No, if belts really matter, it would be a third and seventy thirty. I'm just saying, like it, it, you know, I mean, come on, seventy thirty. Okay, all right. That's because Usyk hasn't been in a damn W. No, he hasn't been in a UFC video game. I don't remember seeing Usyk on WWE. <laughs> Facts. I don't remember Usyk having damn three, having a trilogy with one of the most popular American fighters no, at no. heavyweight. I'm not arguing it. Fury, hey, I'd, I'd ask for 70 fouls Fury. I mean, I'm the much bigger name. Yeah, like, and that's what he's doing. Like, he's showing you, like, Fury's showing you. Fury still makes my point because we said belts don't matter. He just has belt. Belts is plural. But he has had belts, and they had to fake. No, he's always just had one belt. He always had one belt, but I'm just saying, like, he had, you know, when he, when he came <laughs> that back. one belt matter like a motherfucker because of who he is. He makes the belt what it is. Remember when he, remember when he came back and he was a lineage champion or whatever it's called? What's that word I'm thinking of? Whatever. Lineal. Lean, this nigga said lineage. Dog, they ain't say that shit in a couple of years, bro. No, they, they still say it because they, they still say it. Once in a while, every once in a while, but he's a WBC champion. They were, you know, I'm just saying. Like, because now it's screaming more undisputed because you have somebody who has enough clout, Usyk, aka Belts, that could be like, hey, hold on, like I know you're lenient, but hey, this guy right here is undefeated. He just came up from cruiserweight. He's beating these other niggas' ass. Like, eh, I think you need to do something about that, sir. I mean, you know, Fury being with the bigger name, he does have WBC belt, so maybe some belts matter to him more. I don't know. WBC, so, you know, WBC to cat, you know, is the big green belt, the original, somewhat. You know, yeah, it's cool. not the original. Technically, the WBC. It's, it's, it's the most, you know, prominent to, you know. Yeah, but niggas just like that green belt, nigga. Cause look, you know why? Cause green is money. <laughs> so give me the belt that looks like the green, that looks like money. That's the green belt, like the red belt. That's blood, that's pain, nigga. Leave that in the fucking ring. I don't want a red belt. White, nigga, that's just the politics that I don't want to be involved with in boxing. <laughs> Look, so leave the white belt alone. I want the WBA green belt, belt, nigga. WBA, I think, might be the nicest belt, low key, though. But... The way, the way it looks? I don't know. It's, it's kind of dope, you know. I, well, black nigga, I need a black fucking belt. Not goddamn off ass colors, right? Nigga, get some, dude. We gonna get enough, dude. We gonna have an influencer belt soon. We gonna have a bullshit look. <clears throat> I know Henny God is working on the BK McDonald's belt unification belt. Um, <laughs> my salute to DZ. We gonna have to probably get some um animation, some some graphics done on that. Uh, oh, McDonald's versus Jack in the Crack. <laughs> Hold on, who's gonna win versus Carl Juniors and um <laughs> and, 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 uh um <laughs> what's what's some other mid restaurants, nigga? Rallies. <laughs> rallies. <laughs> Wendy's versus rallies, nigga. Oh, what you say, shout, shout out to the two niggas on to, to the two niggas with the big dinos and BK Alts on the Kali. <laughs> 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 salute, salute. Them, them niggas be cracking me up. Well, yeah, Agreed. Right? In- influences that I- dough on top of dough. Yes, they do. Yeah, it, it, but yeah, I mean, like, yeah. In, in, like I mean, in, in and terms, use that motherfucker. Me, yeah, in the end, to me, like, I mean, like I said, the no belts will always be like an edge case, more like the norm. I personally, I hope it never becomes the norm. But you know, like I said, the way if boxing doesn't kind of correct itself, it could be the new norm. You know, so it's like, uh, yeah. You know, it, it What's was the box that correcting itself, nigga? Do you do you see it correcting itself, or you do, or do you think like who's gonna be right, nigga? Do we need to have a poll? Is this boxing gonna get more like what I'm talking about, or boxing is gonna miraculously suspend itself and go back to the shit that was making pilot all sad and shit earlier <laughs> with, his, with his young old ass self? <laughs> I, mean, I grew up watching superstars, nigga, like 20 <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, this episode, y'all got me dying. This episode been funny as fuck. Um, but but yeah, so Pat, like, what what what, the, what chance do you give? Me? Real talk. I mean, I mean, I'm always optimistic, so I'm always gonna give it a, a good chance, nigga. Like you know, so it's you know, I'm I'm just hoping that there's some you know, like I said, you know, this is just one of those one off fifty percent chance. You think it's half and half? At least, at least. 
wow at them odds, nigga. <laughs> I, I, I don't think it's no, much more to say after that because that that show you how bad it, you gotta say it's 50 50 because you you know if if that shit if ryan garcia tank is successful then that I, when i ask you again that 50 percent might turn into damn 10 percent nigga <laughs> Um, Fry cook at McDonald's will be warming up on the speed bag, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> but yo, let, let, let me start wrapping this up because I'm yeah. thirty. And I'm sorry, crazy. man. <laughs> so just get some uh, last uh, some last comments in. I know Peace been kind of silent on this, so I'll give you a quick last comment in. I'm chilling. I'm chilling. Um, as far as the belts thing, like I said, um, belts matter less when you're bigger. But I mean, less. If it matters less, it still matters. So you know. But that's just my opinion on that. So uh, good cast tonight. Oh my gosh, it was quite. This was kind of long one. I was. I was. Didn't think it would go this long. But fuck, you know, it was a good one. Uh, whatever. You know, I don't need to pause. I need to pause everything, man. <laughs> um. But yeah, you know what it is, man. Ring gang is the gang. Uh, it's gonna be a good weekend of boxing. Can't wait. So, and we we gonna get up some bars. I I already know. I can already feel it. I feel it in the air that we gonna get some bars off this after this weekend of boxing. So, oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, I can't. Yeah. I'm I'm ready for it. You know what I'm saying? Unload the clip. <laughs> so. You know what it is, though. But you know you know where to find us at. RingGangRadio.com YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Johnny Rice. The nice artwork. The nice animation. Shout out to Prolific. Shout out to Shutterworth. You know what I'm saying? That shit went hard. So, you know what I'm saying? That's all I got to say about that. We up. Word, word, word. Ayo, Rome, your final thoughts? Yo, you already know what it is. Rome Top 5, nigga. Uh, better be there get planned up out of here, nigga. Don't play with him. Just go in there and do what you're supposed to do. And that'll be all. This ring game, nigga. It's late. It's late, nigga. It's late. Three hours. Y'all niggas wild. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's late, for, it's late for everyone except Pilot. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind hey, of late. Yo, speak of that, Pilot, your final thoughts? It's kind of late. I'm a little tired, but I'm probably not tired as y'all. Um... Shouts out to everybody in the comments. It was looking like it was cracking. Appreciate y'all, man. You know, we do a lot of stuff here, and uh, you know, I feel like a lot of these other channels don't do what we do. And it's just kind of, you know, it's what it is. But you know, shouts out to Ring and Radio. Shouts out to everybody listening. And that's all I got. Word, word, word. Hey, yo, LB, our thoughts. Oh man, I, I would just make this quick. I, this is a great show. Um, it was real funny, entertaining. Lots of lots of good information, gems. Like, like yeah, this is it's only gonna get better from here, man. Just keep rocking with us, yo. Just share the content. You know, <clears throat> we plan on doing the uh, anniversary show soon. Just getting the logistics done. Um, so we working on that. Really, you know, want to celebrate us just hitting milestones and just you know with y'all as well as us like you know like i treat ring gang like these are my brothers you know yes sir you know y'all like you know chat y'all like the ogs in here man y'all be rocking with us so i feel like it's like a a reunion picnic at the beach every friday every monday type shit i mean so it's good look appreciate everything just rock with us um be dropping some um, artwork tomorrow. Make sure y'all follow us on Twitter, like King P said. Got a new animation out. Shout outs to Prolific. Uh, you know, we putting the putting shit together, man. Just the content, like Pilot said. You know, I, I ain't got to speak on this shit. You know, just keep rocking with us. The content we dropping on. Um, let's see. I'll post it, but you know, I do got artwork. You know, I'm about to post up tomorrow, so. So make sure you follow us, you know, shout outs to um uh Michael Hunter. I got, got some artwork for him, you know, drop tomorrow. So let's be on the look. New shit. Uh Thursday we're gonna have another hip hop episode. Uh yo, you put that up, uh Pat. 
No, I do. Uh, the, the it's on YouTube. I mean, I set up on the YouTube. Oh, okay, it's on the YouTube. Okay, yeah, yeah. Uh, so y'all probably see it, but yeah, uh, you're taking it to the West Coast. Something by the West Coast. So, so yeah. So, you show love. You know, we love the hip hop shows. Um, damn, like yeah, this this show is great. So yeah, so stay tuned this week. I don't know uh, the boat. I don't know if we traveling to the bodega or nothing, but uh. Definitely gonna have a hip hop show. We got other shit in the works. So salute, appreciate the love and and everything, man. Yes, sir. And I don't have too much to add on to that, but you know, listen, like, comment, subscribe, tell your friends about us so they can do the same. We can all be friends. And if you know you're feeling generous, you know, I got that banner going. You know, you can go donate to our Patreon or our PayPal if you like the content, you wanna see some more stuff. Or influence something else that we, you know, that you want us to, to, to discuss. We'll we'll be more than happy to do that. But uh, yeah, thank you for everyone that's in the that's in the comments. You know, that's been rocking with us. That's been you know that's been putting in their two cents on what we're talking about. And we we, know we appreciate every single one of y'all. You know, shout out to shout out to my brothers of Ring Gang. You know, for you know always coming, you know coming with some with, with some fire shit. And, you know, making this shit. You know, funny as fuck. <laughs> Especially like later when I actually listen to this shit as I'm like doing some processing on it, um, you know, and everything like that. So yeah, you know, for for myself, you know, Pat Scorpion, the name representative. For LB Shuttleworth, the God, the Goat Artist. For King P, Bodega P. For Conscious Pilot, and for Rome Top Five, aka Chicago Win. You know, this has been another wonderful episode of Real Talk, where as always, if shit's real, we talk about it. Peace.